Come along with us today and join the fun as we explore another one of this nation's national parks right here in sunny Colorado. Welcome back to the channel, everybody, and today we're in Mesa Verde National Park in Mesa Verde, Colorado. As we approach the very beautiful visitor center, um, we're given information because we are in COVID information. The background information was that it does take 45 minutes to get from the visitor center to the top of the cliff dwellings itself. And they do have several hiking trails, but only two were open at the time that we were there. And um, because the guided tours were closed down, they have produced self-guided tours. And all you have to do is download the app and you can get that information um, so you can do it yourself. They also indicated that they had Wi-Fi stations both at the bottom and at the top where you could do all your downloading because there is no Wi-Fi signal available. And if you had any other further questions, they always had a friendly park ranger standing by. This is my 
else. I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car.
MasterCard. They my troubles to rise. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine. And I know this is my time now. Well, to be honest, when we actually went to the Mesa Verde National Park, we did not realize that it was this big. Um, we probably spent maybe three hours here. You definitely could use all day or several days to go ahead and do everything that you wanted to see in there. So what you just saw in the last few minutes is kind of a quick going through. We didn't really have any narration throughout the tours because we did we weren't really well versed on everything that was going on up here and uh, it was kind of a surprise to us as well definitely you want to bring your binoculars to see the cliff dwellings that we saw they did have some of the the uh, sightseeing telescopes in there um if you want um as kevin calls it the pink eye you know you could always try them they're absolutely free but you can definitely see the different cities and the different rooms that they had shown on there um it definitely is a must spot to go ahead and check out while you're in the area down here in this part of colorado but definitely give yourself some uh, plenty of time to go through they did have a restaurant and museum halfway up the way and you could swing in there get some lunch something to drink and purchase um of course shirts and magnets stuff like that your basic gift stuff uh gift items um they normally do have the guided tours and that would be fun to go because you could actually get into the ruins in the cliffs themselves and actually experience it firsthand um the only thing we could do during covid was actually go and try to get and see from the balconies and the overlooks the different places and try to capture that on film just was not as good as it was um, being there in itself. So I do apologize about that. But um, definitely put this on your bucket list item as far as going and checking these out when you are in this um, part of Colorado, which is close to the New Mexico border. And uh, if you did like this video, go ahead, give us a thumbs up. Um, don't forget subscribe to our channel and also um, please share with your friends that are traveling and um, help help us grow our channel and thanks again for watching and we hope to see you on the road someday soon